we're gonna talk about intelligent experiences. Instead of dealing with some of these large macro issues, I'm gonna give you some examples and a little bit of a formula that you can start to apply right away to make your bottom line better, as well as make the planet a little bit better. The trick is to get people to try something a little bit different and then stick with it. Start off with a definition of customer experience. I believe it's everything that a brand does for its customers. It's not just numbers. It's not just the greeting. It's not just, you know, the nice bottle of wine that's in your hotel room. It's everything all together. Improving service. Apple Computer's biggest contribution to the world, in my opinion, has been to set the standard for customer experience. Everyone thought that not only was the retail experiment gonna fail, but that Apple was gonna go out of business because it had no clue about what it was doing. They turn their inventory not five times a year, but five times a month. Their stores are generating $100 million in sales. You know the iPod thing? This is part of the design thinking? Yeah, cool piece of technology, but the harder play, in my opinion, was getting the music record labels to do 99 cent songs. They reinvented the way music is distributed, where experience and technology meet. You can optimize all the different parts of the system at one time, so you eliminate the lines. It's exactly what Uber's done for transport. They've made it more efficient. We've got more drivers, we know where they are, they route the best one, everybody kind of votes. Every day in the United States, this is a shocking statistic, enough people die from medical errors to fill a 747, but that's how many people are dying due to medical error, which is the number one most preventable disease in the world. What GE is getting in terms of public good, so they're getting fewer medical uh, errors. It's a smarter, more intelligent system and it yields a better experience. So the more complicated the product, the easier it is to embed this kind of technology. It's no longer about buy it, use it, break it, fix it. It's about an integrated value proposition. You're buying uptime, supplying context. Context is about understanding the what, why, how, and where of things so that you can make a good estimation or understanding of what's happening. How a beacon might improve your business, your products and services. You can start to create personalized experiences for people by adjusting the way the business works. That was the most important thing I said all night. You can change the way the business works in a personalized fashion for each person. So they're basically a commodity player in manufacturing. They turn silicon, which is sand, into glass. They're changing their business model, in my opinion. They're now in the business of creating decision points. Because anywhere you have glass, you can now have some Corning Smart Glass or Gorilla Glass or one of their other products and turn it into something that people can interact with. All this technology can be used to serve people or to sell to them or to manipulate them. It's up to the people in this room how we're gonna use that technology. So thank you all very much. I hope you uh, get a lot out of the conference.